What is up, risk takers? Welcome to the Kill Pete strategy. I am Pete. I am a top player playing Risk Global Domination on PC. I have a daily release schedule on YouTube. I do fixed Friday every Friday. I do the Waiting on Your Best Behavior podcast, and I stream on Twitch as often as I can. If you are interested in getting better at the game of Risk, I invite you to subscribe to my channel and come along the ride with me today. I am doing Fixed Friday Live. We are taking our boy Bird Blitz all the way from Novice to Grandmaster, playing Classic Fix. This is 28 hours on his account with a slight winning record of 25 and 24, currently ranked as a master 18,969. Settings, as per usual, we're playing classic fixed world domination. Auto setup, 60 second turn, expert AI. We don't have any fixed cards. Balance blitz dice with alliances on. And fog and blizzards are off. I'm in the third position. In position number one, we have General Blitz 3733 flying the flag of Canada with 116 hours played, 59 wins and 235 losses. In position two, we have Isadora Schwinsteiger, 15, also from US of A, with 1,000 hours and 224, 962. So it could potentially be good, not the best record, but man, is that a lot of games. I'm in position three, we already showed my record is 25. 24. In position 4, we have Eduard Amaya, also from US of A, 65 hours played with 8 wins and 122 losses. Watch the fuck out for yellow. In position 5, we have General Walla, 12125 from Iran, 14 hours played with 0 and 12. Alright, watch out for yellow and red. And in the final position, we have Dr. IQ, the Dr. IQ himself from Australia, 176 hours with 36 and 188. All right, nobody super scary except for the noob accounts. Do I want to evacuate my three? Yeah. Let's get my three involved in Africa. I'm going to make two attacks. I'm going to move through Western Europe. And I'm going to sit in North Africa, holding a very strong claim for the African continent, probably by the second turn. Let's actually line that up by consolidating the eight. All right. Um, also, as always, doing it live on Twitch. How is everybody doing tonight? Rogue Raid. Howdy, Pete. How's it going, Rogue? Have any plans to watch the Multiverse of Madness? What's that? Uh, haven't watched the Assassin Tournament yet. How did it go? Um, I've only played around one. And, I don't know, spoiler alert, but if you're watching this video, it, it comes out after that video. So, yes, I did win my first game of the first round. It's a three-game set, but I didn't have to play game two or three. New Doctor Strange movie, Am I a Marvel fan? I'm a fan of Marvel uh, from the comics, but I haven't really been watching new movies. Good job, mate. Yeah, thank you. I'm, no, I was very happy with how the game went. I got super lucky. Um, Chad, Marvel fan. <laughs> oh, buddy, Marvel over DC for sure. Star Wars for sure. Yeah. Fun, fun story. My mom tells, um, apparently she saw, uh, Return of the Jedi, which I think still is my favorite Star Wars movie. Um, the night in the, in my mom saw Return of the Jedi in theaters the night before I was born. So that tells you exactly how old I am. May the 4th be with you, mate, indeed. May the 4th be with all of us. <laughs> so excited about the new Obi-Wan series. Who's playing Obi-Wan? Is it you and McGregor? Why would Red stick a 6 in Africa? What an asshole! <laughs> Alright, so what do we do about that 6? Because I think I go take, take, and, and, and um, pull. Right? I think I sit with... I go take, take, sit with all my troops in East Africa. See what Red does. If Red wants to keep me off Africa for a while, that's the way it goes. Rather than fight. It is you, McGregor. Sick! They gave him Obi. Awesome. That's great to hear. Yeah, I don't know what happened. Like, last three-ish years, I haven't really been keeping up with TV or movies so much. Um, definitely still watching the Star Trek Picard show, though, so... That is, that is my shit. That shit is for me. All right, Magento's going to take advantage of Red evacuating and take Europe, which is probably a good thing for me because I bet Red breaks. Red looks like they are a shitty neighbor 
<laughs> just based on that. Let's see if my intuitions are correct. Maybe Magenta doesn't take too quickly. Probably a wise decision. If this three stack survives, if this three, three stack survives, we'll worry about it after. I'm on the Africa train. Choo-choo. We'll see how it goes. I'm going to put my 11 in. I'm going to take the two. I'm going to get a not great roll, but not the worst roll. And we're going to sit in East Africa with an 11 stack. Also, I got the Joker. So unless I get a horsey, I'll have the 10 trade next turn. Hey, kittens, hear me. Yeah. Cuff sized or hey Pete, what are you playing tonight? This is fixed Friday. So I got a bunch of shit to do tomorrow. I got a bunch of shit to do Friday. So I figure if I don't shoot this show now, I will not be able to release on time. So here we are. Doing fixed Friday live. Freaked out watching Book of Boba Fett for one main reason. Not saying why if no one has watched it. Happy Friday! Yeah. Have a fun weekend, everybody. Mm. Yeah, okay, so yellow wants NA. That's fine. Yellow now has all their troops there. Nice, what's your workout split look like? So in the winter I bulk, so I'm switching right now from bulking to cutting. Um, and cutting literally because I mow lawns in the summer. So it helps. I get about 15, 20 hours of cardio in in a week, and I've figured out a way to get paid to do it. So lifestyle design, am I right? Um, does red leave? No, they just sit in my Africa. So when and if Magenta takes Europe, red will break. That's, that's the hope I'm going with, at least, unless they're teaming. But we'll see how that goes. So my workout split is I try and do a five-day bro split uh, with lifting um, chest, back, arm, shoulders, legs, rinse, repeat. Uh, super set with abs and stretching and, you know, get my cardio when I can. That's basically how, how I like to do it. Also, when I'm cutting, I try to switch to a more strict um, intermittent fasting, go from like 16.8 to 18.6, or even OMAD, one meal a day, if I can tolerate it. This summer, I have to lose a bit of weight. Like, I'm at, I'm at, I started at like 211, I think, is the heaviest I got, and I'm going to try and get down to 185, but I failed to get down to 185 in the last two seasons, so we'll see. Maybe this, this time's a charm. It's tough work, right? You really need to be disciplined and care, and the amount to which I care versus... How important it is to look good right like how much how much you care about your vanity at a certain point yeah magenta's playing it real smart real smart he's going for that you're slow so i think i maintain an exterior position actually i know i'm gonna have the joker so i can push a little bit Not too, too much. Twinkies are fat-free, gluten-free, sugar-free, I heard. Twinkies, huh? I'll take your advice. It's not bad at all. Oh, yeah, it's tough to go six days a week. Good for you. It's tough. I go six days a week. Yeah, good for you. Caring about yourself um, is the sort of thing that pays dividends in the future. You'll Your future self will be thankful. Uh, aren't the current Twinkies rubbish now since they got bought out? I've never had a Twinkie. <laughs> I love Twinkies. Twinkies are delicious. Ooh, we are going to see Yellow take North America. Let's also make sure I didn't get... I got something other than a horsey, because I don't want to be stuck with uh, the six. I did get a horsey. We got the six trade. I'm not going to trade it. I'm not going to blow through Red's five. We are going to see a, a seven before. The greed. Take it. You know you want it. Yeah. Bam. All right. Yellow holds North America. But look at that. 8 and 122. I'm not expecting big things from Yellow. Who slams into them? <laughs> Literal diabetes. <laughs> yeah, well. That is the thing about delicious, delicious sugar, isn't it? Ho-hos are pretty good. Why are we talking about fucking junk food in my chat? <laughs> when I specifically said I am trying to diet you motherfuckers okay I'm easy play for me here is to take Africa not guard the rest and see who breaks 
Also, I can offer alliances to my two adjacent neighbors. See if either of them bite. I bet you Magenta also wants to be friends. Let's talk about chips, cheddar, and sour cream, right? Yeah, fuck yeah. Both of those. I love those. Love some sour cream. Nah, that's, that's some good fucking chips right there. What is black going to do? Black going to single stack in Asia? Chipotle is such a good after-workout meal. You know, maybe I should uh, amend the Ask Me Anything tag, too. Let's not talk about junk food. Barbecue cheaps. Hey, uh, do any of you guys know ketchup chips? Because I know that's a Canada thing. But if you if you have had ketchup chips, sound off in the chat because I'm a fan. Talking about being healthy encourages us to talk about bad food. Ew, you don't like the idea of ketchup chips or you've had them and you don't like them? Which one is it? Yeah. Oh, or I can get my three out of there. No, I think my three's fine just the way it is. We're going to go like this. If someone wants to hit it, they can hit it. If black wants to break me, they can break me. If red wants to break me, if magenta wants to break me, they can break me. It looks like we're letting yellow hold North America, which is super fucking dangerous. You had them and you didn't like them. Yeah, well, fair enough. At least you tried them. When oh, they set in, what? Did they get a good set? Yeah, they got the best possible set. This is a really, really strong start for yellow. Okay, they're going to take SA. Do they break me? No. Okay. Do they accept the alliance? Attack yellow. Okay, so they're going to break me, so I have to move my army away. Red sets and gets a 10. Where's that 10 going? That 10's going to kill white and take Australia. White will be the first player to die. Hey, Pete and everyone in chat. What's up, Orange? How are you? Sushi and sub sandwiches are my two favorite meals. Amazing. What's your, what kind of sub? Good play by red. Okay, how do we beat yellow? I don't know that we can. Dr. IQ, not this time. Italian sub all the way. Ooh, black takes it. Black will feed the kill of red to me? Cool, I can take red, take four cards. I think that's worth doing. Cool. Cool. Still doesn't address the yellow situation, but this game is not going to last very long. Do I practice stoicism at all? Um, depends on what you mean by practice stoicism. I would love to hear your definition of what that means. Because this is a very fun philosophical topic I would love to get into on the show. So the floor is yours. Cuff Solicitor. When you say practice stoicism, what is your definition? Magenta tries to kill red with a shitty ratio. Can I kill red and magenta? That would probably leave me as a weak third. It's going to hit red again. Yeah, looks like yellow steamrolls this game. I mean, with a 10 trade, I can take Magenta 2. See, I know you guys are all probably yelling at me not to do this. These are my prog instincts, right? 
saying get the kill. Black is trying to tell me to hit yellow. I think I will. Oh, surely there's a better deal than that. One of them is allied with me. One of them isn't. Cost them the five, I guess. Let's see how this cookie crumbles. I have 47. I am the troop lead. Holding four cards. Have a 10 set coming in next turn? Good. I'm good. I'm good with this. Yellow did not ally up. They're going to break as they should. Let's see if they hit some. Let's see if they ally up or hit some of black. This is quite, quite early in the game to be in this stage. Whoa, whoa, it's finally Friday. Yes, sir. Yes, sir, Maddie. Okay, so he's going to hit only me advantaging black. Or does he stop? He won't stop. He's going to keep hitting. Yeah. First game looks interesting. Yeah. Very interesting. Where does he put his stack? Now, black has to reciprocate as well, or else we are not making a deal. You also have to hit them. Good. Okay. This is fine. This game is fine. I have a troop lead. Sorry, they have a troop lead. But it's all equalizing. I have a 10 set in the kitty. I don't think I trade it. Oh, he's hitting them hard, huh? He's hitting them hard. And he's getting great dice, too. Hmm. And then pulls it right back to guard with like a 20 stack. Yeah? Nah. I don't think I trade my set. I just connect my troops. Maybe I get a natural set? No. Still have to use my Joker if I want a 10 set. And I think I do. Now yellow goes back that way. Yes. Good. I, and I set myself up to eat them and leave Black's army locked in Siam? No, they're not connecting themselves. They're going to take Africa. What? I don't understand what they're doing. They're going to open the 15? I don't think they understand what they're doing either. We're letting black get a lead now. Okay. Trade offer. Peach receives a follow. You receive good shit from Pete himself. <laughs> Yellow's doing good old never let them know your next move strategy, a.k.a. random attack. <laughs> yup. Looks like. And if I kill them, I become the fish to black so what do we do this is what we do we do the non-committal play we hey if you want to let black hold bonuses let me hold bonuses too either way i line myself up to kill yellow next turn i think it's a close game do they break bonuses i think they break bonuses right 
go one, two, three. It's cheap. There's no price to pay, really. One, two, three. You're going to be holding four cards. 27 for four cards is good if I don't open the 19. Fucking let him get 13. Is he going to... Here's where he betrays me. It's correct for Black to break me now. Let's see if they do it. If they play incorrect, they put true... They bury their stack. Hit yellow. Feed me the fucking kill. It's 10v9 imbalance blitz. 59%. So if I break Africa, but don't open either of their stacks, I have initiative to hold most of the board. They're going to get... Extra troops. They're going to get... 12 is 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. They're going to get 8 troops, but I have 59 and 30. I leave both of their stacks locked for one turn cycle. I think I win like that. Okay. Feeling good about this game. Pete, you got in the bag. Yeah, yeah, I'm happy. I'm happy with this current structure. Holding five cards. They have 58. I have 59. They have five cards as well. Be a gentleman. Wish him good luck. Good luck. Hey, man. Finally caught a stream. Seems like you came in good time. Hope you guys are doing well. Thank you. All right. So we have a 13 stack running. If he doesn't open the 28, I get to hold Africa. My intuition tells me he opens the 28. Here. Good. Now he loses this pocket, and he has his majority position still locked. That is an easy win for me. Wow, this one went really, really textbook. So much so, I think I have time for another 22 minutes. Why the fuck not? Maybe it's a set on three, but I hold the entire board now. Yes, he does. He's got an 8 troop set on 3. That 14 stack's going to hit me. And then he pulls his 25 out. We have a real game here still. Good job. Thank you. Thank you, thank you. I am trying to learn how to play the traditional form. The best I can. I do believe, I've said this once or twice, I do believe that uh, the classic fixed Grandmaster is the highest form. Of risk grandmaster so no set i'm gonna punch out this um, where's he move where does he move the stack he moves the stack there blocks my army good that is correct he's playing quite well um i think i just run this way yeah five four three take the bonus don't roll that don't need to swing it all the way around and we are dealing with 46 to 37. I have a territory advantage. I have a card advantage. I still win. Feeling good. Fastest fix Friday ever? No, man. I think I've had like a, a 10 minute something like that game. Okay, we have a definition of stoicism. Practices in, have you studied Marcus Aurelius and Seneca? Yeah, I, I've, I've read um, Meditations by Marcus Aurelius. For those who don't know, Marcus Aurelius was... Um, the current Roman Empire, when he wrote his journal, and this journal was published not for um, public consumption, but actually as a journal. Um, and it is considered to be one of the foundational works in Stoic philosophy. Now, where's that go? That goes there. That's not correct. Start here. We do one split, and we take... Australia, but we also 
We get the eight. Yeah, there we go. I think I get most of extra. I don't finish, though. 5v3 is loss. Okay. Take one more territory from him. He's on 12. Might as well see if I can get him on 11. That is a better odds. Pew. And I think... I think that is irrecoverable position now. Um, finding ways to be at peace in the world, studying human nature, and asking why we do the things we tend to do, living in the moment and such, living a virtuous life, and overcoming the typical fear of your own death. Those are great, great definitions of Stoicism. Um, the colloquial way of understanding Stoic philosophy is accepting things as they are. The world doesn't care about you. You're not special. You're a dying bag of meat just like everybody else. So don't worry so much about your problems. I have this one now. Well played. You are defeated, sir. Yeah, it's a great read. The audible version is also very good. The voice actor sounds like how you would assume the Emperor sounds. Um, yeah, I so I don't really read books, but I have a lot of free time to listen to books, so that's how I like to consume. I feel special, sorry, not sorry, you don't have to be sorry, you are special. Um, I click on the link, and the first thing is Pete telling me you're not special. So in context, we were, talk <laughs> we were talking about Stoic philosophy. So yeah, I guess according to your definition, yeah, I practice Stoicism. Um... I've had some dark days, as I'm sure have we all, and integral to my understanding of that is this idea that you're not special, because if you can get away from your own ego about that, it's actually very liberating. And I'm fine to let him have Australia. So what's he going to do? What's he going to do from here? Hmm... <sighs> Feeling so good about that one. I think we can do a fixed Friday doubleheader, ladies and gentlemen. Yep, break, break, break. He won't be able to break any. 32 is a 10 set plus 515. He laughs. Good game, brother. Fellow Canadian. Good game. There we go. Oh, no set on four. And there you have it, ladies and gentlemen. Defeating... Two intermediates, two novices, and Dr. IQ was an expert. Um, do we get to see the rank change? No, no rank change currently. You want to be friends? We can be friends. Um, I'm going to set up a second game. I'm going to get myself a quick beverage, and I will be right back. There we go. I wonder if this lobby filled and everybody left. Uh, Fixed Friday is Poggers High YouTube. Hey, Stoicism reminded me of that Courage the Coward Dog episode. You're not perfect. No, nope, nobody is. Despite how much we might like to think we are. 
Get the fuck out of my lobby. <laughs> get the fuck get the fuck out of my lobby. What are you doing? <laughs> you trying to get us banned, dude? <laughs> Good one. So mean. Hopefully as if I don't play with you all the damn time. Is wait. Are you are you a street No. Do I know sloth? I hope I don't know sloth. This is not a play with friends game. <laughs> Just, I want you guys to know. Okay, we're going for this one. <laughs> I'm not mean. I'm just. It's kind of important that I took it my account banned, right? Fuck sakes. You don't even know, doll. You left? Yeah, you didn't realize, Sloth? Yeah, we can't do that. Um. We can't do that. We both risk getting banned, right? Remember, everybody, you may not play in ranked games with people you know. You can't play unranked either. Only play with friends. Same settings. Classic fixed. World domination. Alliances on fog and blizzards are off. I'm in the third position. In position one, we have Jefti from Mexico. 137 hours played with 54 and 232. Not the worst. In position two, we have M and Q from good old US of A. Whoa, that's a lot of hours. 1256 hours, 529 to 1111. Orange is good. Watch out for orange. I'm in the third position. This is the fixed account Birdlins from Bangladesh. 28 hours played, now 26 and 24. In position four, we have Grover the Pretty from Croatia, 531 hours with 213 and 1064. Also not terrible, could be good. In position five, we have Lamar Cogburn, who is a bot. And in position six, we have the white player, who is a bot. Two bots right off the bat is bad. I am sitting on a seven stack start in Australia. I don't have quite the juice to take from purple. At least not right away. Let's see how they respond to the Alliance request. Let's see if they respond to the Alliance request. <laughs> no response? No response is an answer of its own kind. I'm gonna let Red get any use of that too if they'd like to spend it. But Red's a bot. I, yeah, yeah, I forgot about that shit. Pro might be setting a trap. Clearly, they are trying to set a trap. I'm not falling for that shit. And you all know how much I hate the goddamn Australia start, so it is what it is. Um, did we see first turn Oz? No. And if I took first turn Oz, I get broken. Probably did leave. It's the slow tr take. They'd be smart not to blend their troops. We'll see. Oh, and of course, not taking the bot means the bot puts in next to me. Cocksucker. Fuck. That's really bad. Oh, maybe I just move out. We got two bots in this game. White bot going to prioritize taking NA. I lose my exterior three. Hopefully the bot discourages purple further. I'm gonna try and leave. I'll, they can they can fucking fight that bot. If they let me out, I will leave. Can you force the bot to clean purple out of Oz? Mm, how? Right. The risk there is the longer that bot stays in, the more it's gonna prioritize stacking. Purple's dumb. I got nothing to worry about for a person that puts inside a bot continent. Right. Never do this, guys. This will get this will get your six troops killed. Faster than anything. Orange fighting with the bot in Africa. Don't need to rush. Don't need to rush at all. Hey, Kagger's here. What's up, Kagger? Tough start? Good luck? Uh, I'm not too, too worried. Not too, too worried about this start. Nobody really holds anything. We got two bots in this game, so. Dang, that bot can't only put an NA. Hopefully it doesn't take it. Oh, it's going to hit. Uh, purple's going to get fucked, man. <laughs> Bot's got nowhere to go but NA, right? 
Uh, we like big butts and I cannot lie. <laughs> you other brothers can't deny. When an AI puts in behind your lines, you get sprung. Uh, <laughs> Are any of these human wants to be fucking friends with me? How about you, Yellow? You want to be friends? Let's just be buds. Let's bite up. Buds? Buds? What cam are you using? I've been thinking about streaming rest for fun. I don't love my cam. It's, it's kind of glitchy. Bread's a bot and white are bots. Um, but if you'd like me to check my Amazon purchase history, I can probably tell you what kind of camera I'm using. Ooh, I need to reorder that, actually. Buy it again. Yep. I would like to buy you again. Thank you. Ooh, I'd like to buy you again, too. Why am I... See, now I'm fucking... This is the... This is why I own shares of Amazon. <laughs> Even though I ate dick this week, um, this is the exact fucking reason why I own shares of Amazon, because the ability to impulse buy is too strong. I need that. Both from Prime, yes. Proceed to check out. I just spent $34. <laughs> oh, $38 with tax. Lovely. Okay, what was I trying to do? Other than waste my money on shit I don't need? Um, that webcam was called... It doesn't show me. Search all orders? Search orders. Why doesn't it show me? It shows me back to February 15th. Why doesn't it show me longer than that? Sorry, I can't tell you what kind of webcam I have. It's a Logitech something. That's the best I can do. Holy fucking shit, Spud's here! How you doing, Spudly? What's up, my friend? I'd smash the red five. Curious on Pete's move. Now? Smash the five? 13v5? What would I guard with? A nine? Yeah, I like it. I like it. The problem is I hate Australia. Yeah, so I guard with an eight, right? Ugh. Is what it is. Purple would have to set and reverse, which I don't think they're going to do. But they haven't accepted my alliance, which I dislike. Holy shit! Finnis is here. Vasky is here. Uh, Master67, Gando. What's up, guys? How's everybody doing tonight? Just hold a mirror to the front of the webcam and show it. Sure. Um, I don't have a spare mirror that I could do that with. I don't know, DM me or something, and I can fucking tell you what kind of webcam I'm using. It's not great. I don't recommend it. I recommend, I probably spent like $200, and, and if you're thinking of streaming, um, depends on how often you want to replace it. This is my third or fourth fucking webcam now. Um, so, I'd much rather spend, at this point, spend a little bit more money, but have something that lasts. Um, there's a Finnis within this chat. Hey, Finnis, remember the, the classic fix game we played last night where we gang raped Spud? Because <laughs> I remember... I'm back, fuckers. What's up, Orange? How you doing, guys? Pete. Yes, bud? You gonna tell me to go fuck myself? Pete has. Oh, no. Oh, no. Was he gonna... A big? Pete ha! I do! It's true. How did you know, Spud? You just... I just got the energy, right? Big PP energy, or... Let's not. Lol. <laughs> Holy shit. Orange has a 28 stack. What the fuck? <laughs> I'm gonna hurt purple. <laughs> okay. I like this. King RMJ, I leave for a month and a half and you don't get acknowledgement anymore? Did you not get acknowledgement, RJ? What did you say? You said what up? Oh, fucking RJ! How, how are you, buddy? How have you been? You busy with school? I'm not all here, but present. Welcome, Maddie. Have you been living the life there? That's why I haven't seen you. So I acknowledge him and then he doesn't talk to me. Perfect. Just what I wanted. Oh, I'm gonna hit a three. I don't think I hit the three. I think I hit the single. Because at this point, that three is guarding me, and I can maybe snag the kill on purple if things go my right way. One more semester in the fall, and then I'm done for good. Cheers, brother. Then you make the big bucks in the, the financial services industry or whatever tickles your pickle.
Oh my god, we are slamming fucking purple. We are slamming. <laughs> I like this. If purple is a set, they are in trubs. Also, what the fuck is this? <laughs> the fuck is a 13 stack doing in Argentina? <laughs> Come on. Okay, we see an expansion from NA, but not serious. That bot's going to be a thorn in Orange's side. This game's going well for me, and I haven't had to do shit. Orange 4 is going to get wrecked. Purple's running. Purple's running. <laughs> oh, man. Might stream an hour, all right. I'm, I'm not going to stay up too, too late, so I can raid you. Keep the Spud love going. Did Sp Spud, did you get raided by Kilted? Are we doing the same chain? I like that. I like having someone on risk all the time. We can just keep sending people to. I know you weren't asking. That's, didn't take it like you were asking. It's all good, man. You know how happy I am to promote people streaming risk. Come on. My fucking pleasure, right? Activate Australian... Turtle strategy. Your Spanish is pretty decent for a foreigner. Do you know Spanish? I took two um, two semesters of Spanish in high school. In Canada, they teach us French, not Spanish. But I do prefer uh, Spanish to French, so I enjoyed learning it in the small way that I did. Do we see purple die? I think we do! And the first kill is the purple player. like in Quebec. Yes, indeed. Indeed, indeed. How about them camera animations, though? You want me to, You know what? This will be fun. Let's turn camera... Camera animations are going to be on. So, ladies and gentlemen, if I could implore you, my buddy Kilted made a post in the Risk Discord suggestion. Where is it located? Risk Ideas, it's called. Now, Lucy told me point blank once upon a time that they listen to upvotes. This suggestion at the time of recording has been upvoted 52 times with no neutrals and no negatives. The suggestion is please fix the dice to return to Blitz after your turn ends. This is a flaw in the game that causes immense displeasure amongst the entirety of the community. I think this would be a small quality of life thing to implement and would be received incredibly well by the community. So, if you give a shit about your dice, defaults toggling back to Blitz, if you've ever been fucked over by, like, by that like I have, please go on down to the Discord and throw a thumbs up to that comment, please. Because apparently 73 isn't enough. They didn't fix my Shikaku problem. So we need more butts in the seats to tell SMG to help us make their game better. Also, I turned camera animations on. So watch how fun this game becomes. Sign up. We haven't had a sign up all day. Ah, that too. So we have a tournament. Sign ups are live this week. Hosted by the one and only Amanda Storm. How are you tonight, Stormy? And we would love to see you. <laughs> hey, kitten sign up today. Nice. Good. Let's get some butts in the seats. I think we can make some lemonade here. Oh, and it zooms in? Ugh, this is awful. I'm going to have no patience for this. No. Oh, my God. No, no, we're not. No, we're not playing like that. Sorry. I tried. Yuck. <laughs> Absolutely Yuckasaurus. Uh, yeah. Free for all tournament sign up. The date is yesterday. What what is it's it, it's probably pegged to UTC the spreadsheet, right? Yeah, twelve thirty three AM for me as well. Twelve twenty three. How to sign up. Cuff Salister, are you on the Risk Discord? Because I can post the link. You know what? I'll post the link in the show notes. I will also post the link here. And we are expecting big and spicy changes to the free-for-all tournament scene. Nothing I can uh, announce yet, but 
Suffice it to say, I expect to see more tournaments in the future and more fun for all of you. Here's the sign of link. But you have to be on risk Discord. Okay, so I'm doing the split stack guard on the Australian position because I'm not interested in turtling. I'm trying to progress this game. We do have two strong bots, which is very interesting. So my goal now is going to be... Oh, God. And Orange just gets raped. <laughs> Fuck. Okay. Orange is down to eight troops. Red bot will take that kill. And then I'll be in a 1v1 with Yellow, and we'll see if Yellow knows that. Yes, yellow will play like, eh, what's that, a 20% record? Yellow will play like they're in a 1v1, that's my anticipation. Let's see if Redbot goes kill, kill. I suppose I could run around and take the kill. It's not really worth it for me to do so. Good thing I'm opposite white. Yeah, dude, I'm on the other side of the damn world. It's yellow's game to lose at this point, I know. He's ahead of me. I know. I kind of have to... I don't break preemptively, though. I don't think breaking preemptively is correct in this situation. Um, simply because... It's too much of a tell. So I don't want to lose the initiative and become Yellow's enemy too early. I think Yellow maybe goes for the kill. No, they're not going to go for the kill. They're guarding against a bot. It's an interesting it's an interesting finish. Any way you slice it. I'm I'm happy that this game is is being recorded. Having two bots right away kinda sucks. I think Pete has the upper ground, yellow has to deal with the bots far more. Hmm. We'll see. Do we get a confirmation DM after signing up? I don't know. Ask uh, ask the lovely and talented Amanda Storm. If she's still here. Or did you just pop on to say hello? Oh, she's still here. Yeah, do we get a confirmation DM? I don't think so. Um, Yellow should punch through Kamchatka and relieve pressure on Iceland that way. Mason, Pato, Pato. Okay. We got an okay. I love it when you get to watch everyone else get destroyed by the bots. That was a stove perk. Stove sent, sent out the, the DMs. Yeah, he was a very talented host. His work will absolutely be missed, and his efforts are extremely, extremely, very much appreciated by me and many others. I love you, Stove. And I'm thankful for you, brother. And it had to be said. Spud Park, right, Spud, sorry. The balance of this game among the humans has been broken. Yeah, I have a lead now, huh? <laughs> I have quite a lead. Ooh, lucky set. Look at that. He tries to reconstitute SA. Spending his points. Yeah, because he's got nothing to spend them on. I think I still yet... I, I still let Yellow have that initiative. Keep an equal two-stack guard. I'm, I'm fine with this. This is fine. They just pissed away like 20 fucking troops. Um, nuclear. The nuclear demonstration. Hello, Pete. How was waiting on your best behavior? Good work on the assassin tournament. So, um, I have decided to take my podcast a bit more seriously. Um, I'm going to be doing pre-interview um, questionnaires. Um, today we got our first thumbnail, so the Kitten Show has a thumbnail. The Under the Gun Show will have a thumbnail and a pre-interview questionnaire. So I filmed that show today. It went very well. Really happy to present Under the Gun next week. Um, Jaden will be week after that. Jaden is our current 1v1 champion. Um, so I'm sure he'll be interesting to talk to. And I'm going to do a bit more promotion for the podcast specifically. Not because it's my most popular work, but just because it's the work that I'm most proud of.
Looks like you're almost at the partnership status. Status for what? On on uh, Twitch, you have to have an average of seventy five viewers. <laughs> I'm not quite close to partnership on Twitch, unfortunately. I love that. What what part do you love, kitten? The fact that um, your show was the inaugural for the the thumbnails. The kitten thumbnail was pretty nice. I like the take of the podcast. Might spread it out further. We'll see how it goes. Right? No, it's an average of seventy five to be partner on Twitch. I figure no better no better show than to, to start a regular thumbnail trend than that. Ugh. And we got a six trade. Okay. Yellow still holding on nicely. They're not giving me any okay, they give me an easy card there, but if I do that, that closes my path. Um, I'm not worried about it closing my path because I figure either the bot or them will break in reciprocity. So I'll still have this setup is fine. Setup is still fine. Um, that I'm pursuing something you love. Yes, you have to. Your life is short. You have to pursue something you love. Um, <clears throat> are you going to be playing 1v1s with Jaden? As always, Nuke, the guest gets to pick the settings. So I will be playing whatever Jaden would like on his show. Yellow reconstitutes um, Europe. They have 43 holding five cards. Do I have a good set? I have an okay set. Orange is in such a shit spot, though. I sort of need the white bot to take out the externals of yellow, and then I make the kill when the time is right. I can card skip, I guess? Is it worth hitting a four to card skip? Play nice with yellow. We are still technically in a three player game. Were there any risk board games with different maps beside classic? Oh yeah, rip sticker, so I own one, two, three, four, five, six. I own seven different risk boards in my house. Um, I have classic, um, the risk castle, which is a which is the Europe map in this game is Castle Risk from the eighties. Um, I have Earth twenty two ten, which is classic plus a string of undersea colonies and the moon. Um, I have Risk Lord of the Rings, and there was two versions. There was Lord of the Rings and then Lord of the Rings Trilogy Edition. Um, the second one is larger, includes Gondor and Mordor. And I have Risk Game of Thrones, which has two boards. It has Essos and Westeros. All of those are fun as shit. And sometimes when we have people over, we mix it up. Sometimes. I'll, I like to randomly include the moon. The moon has like 14 territories, so if the map's a bit small, you just add the moon. You like add randomly placed connection ports, so the moon acts as like a nexus and it helps you. Sometimes I do two classics like inverted, like real world, reverso world. Depends on how many people are hanging out playing Risk, right? I lost two ranked games in two days, 40 to 63. That sucks, Nuke. I'm sorry to hear that, buddy. So tough when you're at the top. I don't have Risk Legacy because I don't play with the same people every time, right? That sounds like a blast. Yeah, well, you're invited. Um, <laughs> I don't play with the same people, so I don't know if Risk Legacy prevents that or what. Right, I like to switch it up. I also have a really fun time inviting um, 
people now from the risk community who live reasonably close like like I know Maddie has a standing invitation the next time we do one of these nights that would be really cool to meet in person I'm, I would love to see this fucking territory get removed I mean at this point I almost want to take the fucking bot Hello, gentlemen. What's up, Master? But there's been a bit of an explosion recently in new boards. Like, some of them are just classic with a new skin, and then some of them are actually original Risk boards. Are your in-person games untimed? Well, they're, they're timed in the sense that human beings have a limit and have to go home. So. <laughs> we play prog, obviously. This is why I'm, I'm always more of a prog guy. And um, obviously true random. So when people like make jokes about, oh, Pete, ha, ha, true random, you hate it. It's like, yeah, well, I've been playing true random a long fucking time. A lot longer than Battle Splits, right? So. All right, I think we are ready for an explosive turn, ladies and gentlemen. I think I can kill red and yellow. Or, sorry, red and orange. Maddie is ready. Good, man. I'll let you know. Um, it's best with the same people. Yeah, it's not required. Okay, great. It's such a great risk game. Okay, I'll give it a shot. Okay, orange finally going to take a bonus. An easy kill on red unless they take it now. Which doesn't look like they're taking it. Well, then it's mine. And they're both my allies? See what happens if I leave a stack there. But don't break either of them. Of course I want to trade in my Joker, because I'm an idiot. That's another default we need changed. See if this advances the game. Uh, would orange killing red have been a good move? Yes, orange should definitely have killed red. Let's see what yellow does now. Yellow guards. Orange thumbs downing me. I don't think they're going to suicide their remaining troops into me, though. I'm going to fix Friday on Thursday? I hadn't noticed. I've been attacking. That slow hurts my brain. It's not that it hurts my brain. It's just like I definitely don't want to spoil the surprise to my opponents before. <laughs> Pete for love got attack a little faster. Yeah, Orange going to go the other way, as he should. You can have a friend in me. I'm going to stack in, in North Africa. You go that way, and we are happy. We should do a board game closet tour stream. That sounds an interesting idea. He's really afraid of me, though. Okay, so what I do is I take the pressure off, and I put my stack here. That's fine. I can do that. Because he's obviously afraid of me. Um, ooh, this is an interesting question. I think I take the six over using the Joker now. Because I don't actually need the troops. So I'm not a, a huge fucking scary motherfucking stack. I'm going to split off... Ten troops. Like this. So that I have an advanced guard. I have a strong guard on... 
I am, and I take the pressure off Orange so he can break me, and he doesn't have to feel threatened. Are we cool now? Did that help? Cool. Right? This is good, because I've balanced out um, Yellow's growth. Holding 15 is still great. 15 plus 5 in 10 troops a turn? I will win this game at this pace. Um, what was your what was the thought behind stacking on North Africa? So the first time I did it, I, I lined up the kill like that so that my stack would be left there and I would guard and and like sort of threaten both of them and say, listen, I can hit either of you, but I choose not to. And the thought in Siam, and then add my troops to the Siam stack and have a guard on both continents, right? Which is currently the situation I've now held for two turns. I wanted Africa and Australia to balance, because I hate the fucking Australia game. Um, to balance out the Europe player. So, this has worked. I am now the troop leader. Now, my road to victory looks like I don't overextend and piss these guys off, and I don't force them to break me, and this is perfect. If he leaves a lot of troops, he moved a few troops. A few troops is a great tell. I'm going to get... Um, with 15, I'm going to get... 10 a turn. Yeah. So now I just expand into Asia slowly. I'll do like two takes a turn. I don't need to rush. I'm already in a lead. So if I rush, I scare them. All right, right now the situation is I want status quo for a while. I want more troops than these guys. You see a break finally? No. He takes a three, you can take a three. <laughs> or not! <laughs> or he can throw! Oh shit! Alright. Or he can throw. Cool. Alright, repositioning. TBH, that was a decent attack, doesn't break the balance. Yeah, I mean, I, I was in a lead, I'm still in a lead. Yeah, good, fair point, fair point. I lost a lot of troops. Should have worried about yellow, huh? Well, balance is, well, it did give the, it did give the advantage to orange now, right? What do we do about that? Don't actually need the cards yet, I don't think. I'm actually doing that. I'm breaking and then remaking the alliance. And you guys can call me dumb if you want. Some people give a shit about that. Break for a break. What do we see? Hmm, he didn't like the stack on his border. <laughs> he didn't like the stack on his border. <laughs> Whatevs, bro. What else fucking tickles you? <laughs> okay, so white is in Asia now. That's going to be bad because orange will take most of NA and then orange will get strong. I love to see how some different people play the game. Me too. It's always very interesting. North Africa friend both. Then moving to Egypt seemed like it was targeting yellow and that scared him. Perhaps. 
perhaps. Yeah, so the correct move would have been to pull the stack to um, Eastern Africa, and then it wouldn't have actually scared either of them. That was a mistake, and I'm cool with that. I'm cool with that as a learning experience. So he's happy, I'm happy. I have a slight lead again. I can stack here, right? I can stack here and rebuild exactly the same structure I had before, except now I'm not scaring either of them, and this game can continue until, hopefully, orange inevitably abuts yellow. And then yellow will be forced to break NA. Or someone feeds the white kill. Cool. So we're back where we were. I lost some troops, but I'm still in a similar ratioed lead. Orange came so close to death. I'm surprised he's still alive. Um, Maddie says, I kind of like yellow's play. No, right on, man. Right on. I'm dumb. I, I, I threatened him. He got scared. Um... It's, it's all good. One of the highlights of watching PC YouTube channels watching his progression as a fixed player. This is why I try and play a variety of shit, because I want to... I know a lot of people play a, different, uh, a lot of different settings. I want to be the best risk player I can be, so I'm very interested to experience the range of possibility. He's not going to ram you again. It'll be suicidal. Hey, so what was in the VC this morning that I'm not in belongs to the guy named Pete on Kilt Stream. What do you mean, what was in the VC? Oh, and we had a bot break. Fuck yeah, we get a bot break. Good, now yellow has trouble. Um, you're talking about which VC was that? That was the podcast VC. It's exclusive. If you are super nice, maybe. <laughs> I'm just kidding. I don't know. I think Finnis Fukushima is a top player. Finnis Fukushima um, would actually be, if I'm allowed to ask you about your your uh, your work, I think you'd be a, a very interesting guest to have on the show. That's one we can put in the kitty. All right, 29 for four cards. See, I don't want to do it because it destabilizes. This looks like I'm guarding from the bot, right? Which I am. <laughs> Which I am. I don't want to kill white because it destabilizes my potential for advantage. Um, it takes balls to balance the game with that kind of stack hit. Both players are threatened. Uh-oh, secret's out. Secrets aren't out. People know I have a pot. It wasn't suicidal. It was a good move. We could do that. I need to replace my mic. He's going to go for the kill. Cool. We will see the game become a true three player game. He's going to get the trade. He's going to be the weakest of the players. I think I eat him and go into a 1v1 with Orange now. You're an interesting dude, Finnis. I'd love to get to know you better. And you're a great risk player. So you're checking all the boxes. Now, here's the question. I don't want to fail the kill, and he didn't open up my 25 wisely. So how, how many troops is enough to kill 54? Let's see if he helps me. Help me kill this fucking guy. Just help me kill him. I don't want this game to stabilize and drag out as a three-player game. Hit him. I wonder what Orange is going to do here. How's it going today, Pete? I'm good. I'm good. How are you, Phantom? Why OBSB seems interesting? That's that's great. I try to make it an interesting show. Ah. Uh, 
status quo is status quo. And now we no longer have bots. So I can relieve the pressure. Yeah, let's get any more troops than me. That's not good. But he gets a four set. Okay, okay, okay. Opens my 25. Pulls it back to his main. Yep, okay. Real honeypot IMO is indicating to attack your territory to get the Europe invasion plus making it seem like an impartial attack. Not sure what you mean. It's going good. Thanks. How's the tournament? Uh, which tournament? This is. Uh, I'm just. I'm just uh, promoing signups. At the moment. So if you are curious to know where you stack up among some of the best risk players in the world. Look no further. What do you think the odds are they let me hold Asia? Could I give one of them Africa for that? Or is that is that stupid Pete level greed and that idea is terrible and will backfire? I'm going to tell him to attack me. Let's see if he gets it. I'm trying to trade Asia for Africa, which won't work. <laughs> it is a bad plan, but we're trying it. Oh, fuck. I left. I left my stack. Okay, well that that plan failed. <laughs> that plan failed. So now he just breaks Asia. Yeah. This is the sort of content content we live for. Go for it. <laughs> My bad. I'm not that good. I'm only a master. Can you get risk emotes on Twitch? I don't know. All right. We're going to see the greed from Orange. Orange playing super slow and careful. No one's taking my Africa. Lol, Pete, it was October 17th when I first DM'd you trying to figure out how Discord worked oh, only seven months ago. Now I play Lose with all the top players and small time streamer. Almost 50 followers. That's fucking awesome, bro. Isn't that fantastic? Exalt has to go to bed. Good night, Exalt. Nice to see you, buddy. Careful, Pete. Remember the last time I put a stack on his borders? No, I know. I know. I'm, I'm hoping that he takes the trade, but he isn't taking it. Attack orange. How?
We're going to start to see some breaks soon. This board is just, the pressure is building too high. They can't let me hold all this. I want these guys, I want one of these guys to take Africa. <laughs> I want that. To, I don't want to hold Asia and Africa. I want Asia. I know it's really lofty. Yes, take it. Good. Take it. Ah, but he doesn't want me to have either. It's going to take Australia. Interesting. Okay, that was expensive. And he's going to swap. He's going to take the Australian position. Okay, we get a shuffle. Doesn't finish. Finishes. Finishes doesn't guard properly. Put him in Asia. I'd much rather be here than there. <laughs> yeah, Yellow's happy with Europe. Okie dokie. Uh, this game is still going. Yep. I went to get some food, but damn. Yeah, the second game went a long time. He's still a good player in Fix. He's just exceptional in Prague. Who, me? Um... Orange could afford that attack. I like these plays. Now Orange loses. He has no defense. Yeah, I think Orange is weak. Um, but, you know, nobody has enough of a lead yet, too. He's going to go all the way around and break my Africa. No, he's going to connect. Yeah, he's going to connect and guard. Good. That's what I wanted to happen. Because I have no fucking qualms about taking North America. A lot faster than he did. Okay, so I now have a much better bonus. I, know I, much, I have a much better bonus structure, right? So now I can hold the plus five like this with a two-point equal guard of very large stacks. Not threatening yellow. Yellow and I have a reasonably good thing. He hit me once. We're tied in troops. We can squeeze out orange, hopefully. It's a fun one. Uh, it's a good to make moves like the move you have some protection to back it up or just get rolled over. Okay, sign up for the tournament. My EST time going to UC, UTC gave me a headache. It, it always gives me a headache. But I just, I think it's minus four, so we just subtract four hours. Also, the spreadsheet has a nice uh, clock on it that shows you when your game is coming up. So, and EH is ping you in the game time lobby. He does connect. This game's going to make for a great YouTube video. Good. Yeah, man. That's why I did a double header, right? That first game went too quickly. Why the fuck not? Okay, so we put half here and half here. All things being equal, I will win this game. So I don't really have to do much. Hi, YouTube. Hi. <laughs> And in case you're just tuning in, if you're curious to see where you stack up against some of the best risk players in the world, sign-ups for the free-for-all tournament are open this week. So they will be open until Sunday. That's May the 8th. Be there, be square. I'd love to compete with you. Just don't kick my ass too hard. 
Um, oh, I still never got a VIP from you either, I just realized. What does that mean? How do I VIP you? You're, v you're a very important person, RJ. So how do I, how do I VIP you, sir? Orin still has a position in NA. I'm going to remove that for sure. Honestly, no idea. Well, if you can't tell me how to help you, I don't know how to help you. These stacks are bullshit. Orange has all of his troops locked, and he's hoping Yellow and I fight each other. And if you know me, I drink deep from the well of greed. They want Africa, I'll give them Africa. Do I block? Or do I death stack? Does he go break, break? What does he do? He doesn't like my lead. Let's me have any breaks. Okay, gives me nothing. Bad deal. What do we do about this? Oh, I don't care. I'm just busting your nuclear balls. Andre had is I messed up. Uh, one day during the last tournament, it was super stressful, but we got it all worked out. Awesome, Andre. Don't you worry, my friend. Pete, you can set roles in the dashboard, just like you can make someone mod. Oh, VIP is a Twitch role? Interesting. You need to attack me, too? Aww. Um, Dev's pulling up cheat codes and they get a prog game with Pete. <laughs> Loaded dice. Tournament practice game? Nah, it's, it's bad time for me after this, unfortunately. But I will raid RJ, and he... Are you competing this season, RJ? Because you could do a practice game for the people. Orange doing a very good job of turtling. Staying out of trouble. The war has begun. Hmm. Pete, hurry up and win so I can go to bed. I'm too invested now. Not to, our alliance is over. How about an alliance for now? I'm so confused. I accept your alliance. I don't know what you want, though. How do I... Okay, chat, help me. What do you think Yellow wants right now? What's the tourney? This is the main uh, Risk Discord FFA tourney. We know the settings for round one. It's fixed 2209 with one bot and blizzards. He left his big stack blocked. No, he didn't. His big stack goes into me. Are you a boomer? That bedtime is rigid. No, I'm a gainfully employed adult man who has shit to do tomorrow. <laughs> also known as a boomer, apparently. Um, Open up my 47. Let's see how he plays that. I'm so interested in Yellow's game, man. Take Africa. Take Africa. You can have Africa. No, he doesn't. He's going to let me hold NA and SA? I'll take that. Fuck yeah. 
Yellow can, or orange can't get in. I'll take that fucking deal. This is a winning position now. Maybe yellow wants SA in Europe, and you can have NA in Africa. I definitely don't want that structure. I don't want the double split structure. That's weird. No. Oh, I finally found it good. Are you going to sign up? <laughs> He's happy. I'm happy. You don't know if you'll play? You're too busy? Too busy in life, RJ? <laughs> I don't know. I don't know what he's doing. <laughs> One game of the tournament is going to take five hours? Yeah, probably. Yes, take it. Yes. Good shit. This is fine. Now we kill Orange together. Look at that death stack, too. <laughs> it all depends on the round, right? Mm. Orange doesn't break though. Yellow does have a slight lead. I'm getting twelve a turn. What are they getting? Oh, we don't know yet. I can count, I suppose. Um, okay, so I don't add to either of those positions. Those positions are now closed to me. I only get takes on orange until we slowly choke him to death. No, but I don't want to pay. I don't want to pay yet. Let's show a little faith. Reduce the size of the stack to a 30. My main stack is now in Asia. He's getting 12 as well. Good. Yeah. We're choking out Orange. He's going to have a slight troop lead on me. I'm okay with that. I'm confident in my ability to outplay him in the end game with a slight lead. Orange has to do something now. And my, my hope is that Orange... And that my hope is that thing isn't him slamming into me. This is the deadliest trap, right? I should probably do my research and figure out how. Phil, Phil's probably yelling at the screen. He's like, Pete, set up the deadliest trap. Do it. And I'm like, I don't know how. <laughs> also, shout out to Phil. If you guys don't know Phil's work on Twitch and YouTube, it's Risky Phil. Uh, one word on Twitch, two words on YouTube. Risky Phil. Go check him out. He is Grandmaster of Grandmasters. Does it all good at everything and a really kind solid human being to boot big fan um when y'all are slow rolling or make them attack more are the games for the tournament random or is it so many fixed and prog it's not random so each round there's seven rounds each round has its own settings um you're i believe you're going to be given the choice of three maps to vote on and there's a variety of modes. Cap zombies, 70%. Fixed progressive, blizzards, fog, all that stuff. Phil is not bad, I guess, just deadly. Deadlier than me, Maddie. 
Uh, I love Phil's new intro, guys. Really nice how you helped it. What did I say? Are you ready to get your fill of risk or something like that? Um... Orange is deep in thought. He's running out of options. So you don't vote on settings, but maps. Um, I think Amanda has the settings pretty much fixed. Um, you just get to choose a, your th uh, your favorite of the three map options for those settings. Does Orange bot, or does he do the fake bot? This looks like a this looks like a bot. This looks like a bot out now. Oh shit! Oh shit! if he fucking comes back, man. I don't want to lose the initiative to yellow. Hmm. This is risky. Name of the game, right, guys? Okay, are you ready for your fill of risk? Uh, what happened to Stove running them? Um, Stove is no longer running them, but we hope that he will be running something very soon. And if you'd like to ask him more on that topic, you can ask him. You all should know how big a fan I am of Stove and how grateful I am for everything he's done for this community. Okay, we're hitting some we're hitting some bot. I think it's a bot. I think it's a bot. 195 to 180. Just like just bot out when I have initiative. Right? <laughs> That's what I need to see. Who thought fixed Africa FFA was a thing? I don't know, Amanda. <laughs> I told her those settings were shit. <laughs> Tater love. Hey, King. Pete, not, Pete, one fan, decided to log into Twitch. Hey, how's it going? Number one fan. Wow. Nice to meet you. <laughs> you only get one of those, you know? Do we see Orange Bot now? Yes, it's me. <laughs> well, it's a pleasure. Pleasure to make your acquaintance. This looks like a bug, right? You already know me. Okay. Then who is my number one fan? Two oh seven to one ninety three I'm not in love with. Pete, if you had to guess how the world would end, what would be your best logical guess? Um it depends on what this is the philosopher answer. It depends on what you mean by the world ending. So when you're talking about the world, we know how the world will end. The world would be consumed by the sun. He is offline. Okay, we see the bot out now. What do I do? What do I do? What do I do? What do I do? The bot is still locked. I mean, I think I just, I think I just have to hit. Oh no, that immobilizes up. Okay. Okay, so I leave yellow stack locked. I open up lines to hit him next turn. He has a slight troop lead on me. And then I'll have to be fighting a huge bot. 
which I don't want to do. Good dice. Let's go, ladies and gentlemen. Fuck. Kill yellow, I know. It's time. Kitten is my number one fan. Starts with Finn. Oh, that, it's Finley! Hey, Finn! Okay, cool. <laughs> it's your new Twitch. I missed it. You're, it's it's uh, it's your new Twitch account. It's Finley Pope Tw The Finley Pope 27. Um, Miss Kitten, good show today. Yes. Risk AI controlling killer drones. Kill Yell. It is time. I am I know. It is time. Ugh, all my cards are shit. I don't think I get it. I think I roll yellow and lose. Fuck. Oh, God. We have 21 troops left, holding most of the board. My most important thing is making sure that I continue to take cards. Well played. Thank you. Yeah. He's <laughs> a lovely view. Shouldn't... Ever miss his videos. Thank you. Thank you. Yeah, the whole situation there, Stove, is, is uh, very upsetting. And I will do what I can do for you, my friend. This looks good. This looks good for me. All of the bot is in Asia. I'm two-thirds its size. We did it. We did it, ladies and gentlemen. No fake bot out pog. Even if it is. Like, at this stage, I'm doing okay. Let me have Africa. Let me have Africa. Dun, 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 dun. This is fine. Sixty-seven to forty-five. <laughs> Suicide into Pete for the turn. He'd love that. Don't you even fucking start that shit. I want to win. I'm going to play my best. You know, second was fine, but I'd like a win, please. Can't be all Cosmic Cowboy all the time, even though he's a very, very talented Risk player. I hope Warren returns and kicks my ass. You're such an asshole. Why do you hate me so much, Spud? I thought we were friends, man. Well, he's not kicking my ass now. That's a good fixed Friday, guys. We go from 25 and 24 to 27 and 24, right? Yeah, 27, 24. We're getting there. We're getting there. I'm going to be a fixed grandmaster, guys. Spud is making another shortly. Did Drew ever get back to me? Yeah. Um, he said... I'll tell you exactly what he said. Um, he said, Hasbro doesn't approve it, so Risk can't associate with it and highly discourages it, which... Is not our problem. And then he posted some of my poetry in general chat. 
fucking guy. Uh, RJ, are you live? Yes, we're gonna raid RJ. Um, when will we play in the FFA tournament? Hopefully not until the fucking finals. If you beat me in a tournament, you beat me in the zombies final, dude. Or didn't you forget? Cosmic understands the Gilby's right. Cosmic's a very good risk player, man. Is Parlox going to be participating? I don't think so. Um, why did they change scenarios to first on sats? I'm not sure. Fixed GM equals number one. You will make it, I believe. Progcap's account is at 1816. Hashtag the kiss beat strategy. That's just for you. Um, one bot in the tourney? Yeah, it's going to be. Yeah, exactly. It won't be on their server, so not their problem. Exactamundo. Ladies and gentlemen, hope you all enjoyed this video. I hope you found some of it fun and entertaining, maybe even a little educational and informative. If you are interested in getting better at the game for risk, I invite you to subscribe to my channel. Come along the ride with me, defeating a novice, an intermediate, and two experts. Do we see a rank up here? We are currently at Master, 16,277. Hope you all enjoyed the show. We're going to raid out RJ now. Just going to answer everyone's questions before I go. GG, your keyboard. This is a brand new keyboard. I smack the fucking shit out of it. Uh, raid King RMJ. Thank you all for watching and hanging out with me. It's always a pleasure. Puts me in just the right mood. Pete Lachero VC, I'm, I'll come. I'll come right now. We can chat for a bit. Um, ladies, ladies and gentlemen, thank you all so much for watching. Let's go give RJ some love now. Hang out with him. And keep the good vibes going. Thank you all so much. And until next time, for all of you on the path to world domination, good games and good luck. Good night, everybody.